Want to see what legs looks like first day back after a show? Let's show you how to do it. All right, guys, welcome back to Elite Health and Fitness at Roanoke. So glad to be back. So glad to be here in training legs. It's Thursday, the day after my show, and we're going to crank on some legs today. And if you look at my check-in photos here, you'll see that I'm still in really good condition. My scale weight's up 10 pounds. I was 216.7 and feeling full, still holding good condition, but because it's not that long after the show. So really looking forward to bringing you guys this workout. I'm going to absolutely slaughter. I trained back on Monday, chest and shoulders on Tuesday, had Wednesday off, and now I am well, here on Thursday, start with some line leg curls as always. Let's get it. All right, exercise one, line leg curls. As you know, absolute favorite, mountain dog special. I would never start a leg workout without doing this. Just me being honest with you guys. But anyways, pyramided up to the uh, stack, which is 150. Did a cluster set, so that's just three failure sets with 30 second rest periods. Then I took a two minute rest period, backed it out to 100 pounds, and just did a back off set, really slow and controlled, squeezing my hamstring, making sure every single rep was perfect. With the back offset, the reason they're so important to me and the reason I love them so much is it allows me to really fully control and contract that muscle and not really worry about being under super heavy load. It's still moderate load, but I always like to finish off an exercise and just take it to failure uh, because it feels great, I feel safe, and then my muscle connection there just cements it so that when I go back to the next week to hit it with a heavy set, it just re-signals all those fibers of fire just like I did on the back off. behind that cluster set. So if you go with that stack, normally I do top end set, 10 to 15 reps. Well, if you look at that, all those reps add up and are cumulative, right? So all three mini sets, so I'm actually getting more reps with 150 pounds. So it's stretching those hamstrings more by taking those short little clip rest periods and keeping the weight the same. Exercise number two. Adduction, as you guys know, you can never have too thick of inner thighs. I will do this the entire off season and pre-contest leading up to 2022. I'm gonna work my way up to the stack here with 200 pounds. I'm gonna be very careful. Normally I would pin extra weight on here, but the week after a show, I wanna be very cognizant and leery of the weights and loads that I'm using because I don't wanna tear that adductor off the bone. So I'm gonna do these really slow and controlled. Then, I'm gonna, then I drop the weight by about 30% and just cranked reps to failure before we move on to leg extensions. All right, guys, third exercise in rotation. You just saw me do the John Meadows warm up. I absolutely love it. It's 15, 15, 6, 6, 4, 4, 3. My quads feel pumped to shit right now. But that was the warm up. Now I'm going to do one work set here today, and it's a throwback to one of John's workouts where he actually broke me. And I say that because it's one of the few times I've actually failed in the gym. Uh, he wrote on one of his programs, he, he needed me to do 20 full range reps and then 20 bottom half partials. I hit 20 full range and then I made it to like 13 and a half uh, partials. And I literally couldn't move. And I stood up, took a couple of minutes, and was got pissed off and angry, tried it again, fucking failed again at like six partials. So it's one of the few times that I've actually been beaten in the gym and it fucking still gets under my skin. So we're going to tack it in today, and this is going to be live. So if I fail, <laughs> we're going to see it on camera.
All right, time for the meat and potatoes of this workout. I am supersetting leg press with a wide stance to really try to focus on getting my adductor more, even more work. And then we're doing a narrow stance hack squat, reverse band, Tom Platt style, where my feet are close together. I'm trying to drive my knees out. When I come down, I'm all the way down to my hamstrings, touch my calves, up on my toes, and when I drive up, I push through my heel. So this little superset, killer for my quads. I'm trying to do 15 and 15 on each. My legs are pumped. Just from one set, I've got two to go, and we're just gonna keep going up in weight. So my goal is to get to six plates on the leg press, and then five plates on the hack. And again, the goal there is to keep my joints deloaded as much as possible, but to still stimulate them as much as I can. All right, coming off that superset, <laughs> my legs were fucked, and they still are. So, we'll do some moderately heavy dumbbell lunges today. Do two sets, both with 60 pounds. The last one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 10 steps on the right leg, 10 steps on the left leg, then I'll drop them, and I'll go body weight, right leg down, left leg back, and the goal there, I'm gonna go really slow, really controlled, and really trying to crank hard on quads, hamstrings, and glutes before we finish up with a gluten hamstring superset. All right, here we go. Last thing here. This has been one of my favorite supersets to hammer hamstrings and glutes. Since I will be hitting hamstrings and glutes again on Sunday, I'm not doing a ton of like failure work on hamstrings because I want them to be fresh when I attack them. So what we're gonna be doing is doing rounded back hypers with a huge glute squeeze and then working the mid range. So not all the way down and not all the way up on this RDL. And it just hammers my hamstrings and glutes. Like they are literally trembling right now. So two rounds here, finishing the day up.
All right, guys, there you have it. First leg day back in the gym post shows. And man, did it feel good. <laughs> that workout blew my legs up. I feel great, no joint pain. Mine is locked in. You know, that's what I'm gonna finish this video up with. You know, right now coming off post show, 99% of competitors who love this sport are super motivated right now, right? Your digestion is flying, your meals are going down easy, you're ready to make change, make progress, be better for next time. So to me, this part is easy. Where it gets hard is at 12, 15, 16 weeks down the line when the food starts slowing down and you can't pound as much food or as fast and you're really having to push to get food down and your, your scale weight's way up and it's more, maybe you're more lethargic and tired and, you're, and that motivation come, coming off stage is starting to wane if you don't have purpose and reason. And if you pay attention to my Instagram stories and Instagram posts of where I posted that North American shirt that sits by my desk that says the placings I had for seventh and masters and DNP for open, it's a constant reminder of why I have to stay foot on the fucking gas pedal. I cannot let up, I cannot miss meals. I can't take a work set off. When I come in here, I have to be focused for that 60 to 90 minutes. There's no excuses because if not, if I don't do that, guess what? The same thing or worse is gonna happen next time. And I re fucking refuse to move down in placing. It's only up. And the reason and the, and the promise that I'm making to myself is that I will leave everything in this gym, everything at the dinner table, and everything in the bed. Because honestly, rest and recovery is just important as those first two things that I just listed. So uh, if you guys take away anything from this video, if you're deep in your off season right now, refocus, write your goals down, remember why you do this. Because I know it's not easy right now. I know it's hard as a comparison to me right now where I'm coming post show and my fire is burning red hot. So remember that, stay strong. Thanks for following along guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video and this channel. Comment below what you want to see because we're bringing more content full steam. We are not letting up all year. You're going to see me go through a full-blown all-season, get heavy, get stay in relatively good shape, push a lot of fucking weight, and get better. Thanks, guys. Till next time.